Welcome to yet another episode of Africa Sportsman Show. We are on a dirt road just outside Petersburg or Polokwane these days. Uh, it's in the Limpopo province in the most northern part of uh, South Africa. I'm teaming up with good mates of mine, uh, Bailey Simple Safaris and Southbound Safaris. Um, my good friend Igor van der Berg is behind the camera at the moment. We're looking to, uh, to hunt some, some bush peak and some water talk with them, end of season hunts. It's uh, still very dry, so great time of the year. We're gonna meet up with the guys in a few minutes and uh, we'll take it from there. Hope we have a good week. Hugo, Stefan, big thank you from uh, Bailey Simple Safaris and Southbound Safaris for joining us, man. Um, I know we've been planning this hunt for nearly a year now. It's been a long yeah. process, but the name of the game was Patience. You know, we had some exceptional rainfall this year. And I think we've hit it just on the head. I think we hit the right time of year. The bushes, it's absolutely driest. The rains are coming, they say, in about four or five days' time. So I think we've, we've timed this to perfection. Yep. But um, for sure, but for, yeah. for sure. And uh, um, I just want to highlight again uh, on, on the way here, we did a quick introduction, but between you and Ty, I mean, uh, you guys, you know this area pretty well. Tyler, we're obviously looking for some, uh, me and Igu both, we're looking for uh, for a gigantic war talk. And, and as I say that, you know, it's not about the inches. We're looking for something something proper. Both both you guys, you know, you're into that game. You love old, uh, hunting these old boars, Absolutely. both on the, on the war talk side and on the bush pig side. Um, Tyler, if you can just explain a little bit to us where we are at the moment. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we are, we're closer to Vivo than Dendron, but we're basically in between the two. And um, for some of our foreign viewers out there, that, that, <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, so the closest big town, if you want to go and Google it on the map, is Petersburg. It's, it's Polokwane. Yeah? Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, so it's, um, it's up about, north. An, about an hour's drive north of Polokwane. Um, yeah, as I said, you get from Polokwane, you drive through Dendron, and yeah. then after Dendron, we're basically between Dendron and Viva. Yeah, and, and a big part of South Africa, Dems, is, is um, as we know, you know, privately owned, um, whatever you want to call it, game ranches or, or, or game farms or however the, 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 the wording is. But, I mean, where we are here, this is proper, proper old-style cattle farms, am I right? I mean, 100%, this, this is, yeah. This is as free range as it gets out here in the in the northern territory. Right? No, hundred percent, man. Yeah. yeah, this is this is just you know a, a, a collection of cattle farms, you know, just boarding one another. Low cattle fences, lots of game movement. Um, you know, the, the farmers in the area have got a great understanding with each other about looking after and protecting the, yeah. the wildlife here. And you know, Tyler has been hunting this area for for years and years and years now. And oh, Ty, you know what this area is like with with big pigs and stuff like that. It's yeah, well, not only people. pigs. I mean, the kudu, the the impala, the waterbuck. You know, it's 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 a it's ample game here. I mean, we saw some driving in, but um, I mean, um, the sun is setting. We have about I don't know three hours of, of daylight left, mm. and we've we've been chatting about this whole hunt. Like you said, we've been planning it for a year. But I like to compare this to a trophy leopard hunt. I mean, am I right? I mean, this is this is a lot and lot and lot of preparation. So it's going to boil down to the shooter taking a good shot, the pH pointing out the right animal. But I mean. 95% of this hunt success is in the preparation, am I right? Months and months of preparation. 100%. Tyler and I have been planning this for a long time. 
I know Tyler's put a lot of uh, a lot of hard work in and finding these big uh, leopard pigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes it a bit easier this time of the year with it being drier. Yeah. Uh, you get the bush pigs are a lot more consistent because uh, there's not so much food in the in the bush, and then also with your warthogs, you can see them because the grass is the grass has been yeah has been if the sun hasn't killed it, you know the animals have grazed it the whole year after the rain, so you can at least see a little bit. So it's a double whammy. The food is concentrated. And the visibility is and quite visit, good. And the water is concentrated as well. And um, with it being an agricultural area as well, it's a big agric agricultural area. Um, a lot of harvesting takes place now. So there's a lot of leftover produce left yeah. in the lands and left all over the bush. Yeah. Uh, just the tractors driving to the, to the shed drops off the side of the tractors and stuff. So the animals are on the look for food at the moment with it being so because dry. Because food is scarce at the moment. Because food is scarce mm -hmm. at the moment. And also hunting pressure. I mean, obviously these areas... Uh, because agriculture is the number one thing, there's no hunt, not much hunting pressure because everybody's farming. So yeah. that ha that also helps, you know, the animals, yeah. there's not much pressure on them. Um, on that leopard equation, that's, you know, we were chatting with Stefan about it. You know, if you want to hunt a big leopard, you go to the right area. And I think yeah. we've come to the right area for, for bush sure. pig and for water. Yeah, this yeah. this is the place to find one this time of year. No, for for sure. Sure. Depending on the species, and I mean, like you say, for, for both of them, bush pig and water, yeah. this is one of those, one of those hidden gems in in south africa so 100%. guys we're really looking forward we're gonna we don't know how it's gonna happen i mean this is absolutely no plan no no uh way in planning this to the to the teeth so but there's gonna, lots of pigs out there at least yeah and you, you got <laughs> yeah and you guys have some you know some lookout points and whatsoever so we're obviously obviously gonna split up but uh, we're gonna flick a coin as we go and see how it works and uh, hopefully we can keep you on the on the on the video you know guys watching the video updated uh, whatever happens we will try and film and uh, hopefully we can we can make the shots when it comes. Well, that guy looking forward, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right, let's go. Okay, so I'm at the blind. Um, Timsy is just dropping off the vehicle. About half a kilometer away. He's going to make his way uh, into the wind, to the, uh, through the bush, up to our blind, yeah. Uh, um, the feeding spot is just at the back, a mere 25, yeah, 25 paces away. And we're going to get into this grass belt blind and... Um, We've got about three hours of daylight left. Hopefully we get a big pig coming in. We've just got to the blind now. You can see it's a, it almost looks like a bloody leopard blind with all this grass and whatnot, but the wind is absolutely fantastic. So I think it's just about gone about 4.30. So we're expecting movement in the next hour or so. So fingers crossed, guys. Okay, so what's happening is Timsy is just, uh, Timsy is fitting the night side onto the, onto the additional gun we have here. My, uh, for the setup. Um, looking directly at the, at the area where the pigs are feeding. So the, the plan will be um, if we can get a pig in daytime, obviously gonna gonna take him uh, with a 3378 and then James just explained to us um, we are on a site that has multiple pigs feeding on. It's a war dog and bush pig. That's exactly right. At, at the moment, you and I are targeting one specific old boar that we've been seeing here. But coming in just after the war dog is a bunch of bush pigs. So depending on how all pans out, we can maybe double up on the African pig slam today. Let's see what happens. Looking forward. Good them. So um, we set up. We're looking good. Yo, looking good. Everything is uh, in place. Got the chairs moved back so we don't make any uh, sudden movements here close to the holes and hopefully we don't bump anything. 100%. But now the waiting game starts. Eh? We know it's getting into the golden hour now and I think, uh, yeah. I don't know, the weather's perfect, wind is perfect. You, yeah, I think we're going to get it done. The nice thing is the wind is quite strong so there's no there's no smells going there. It's the only thing at the moment that can spook a big as the smell. Eh? Yeah, I think we're going to be dead quiet and yeah. I mean the bush is alive, you can hear birds all over and yeah. everything going and some of the farm noises and so forth so yeah, yeah hopefully we get lucky now it's hurry up, hurry up and wait yeah, hurry up and wait exactly right <laughs>
um, Hugo, we've just spotted, I see four bush pigs, they've just come into one land. Um, it's quite open, but then the problem that we've got is if they move out of there, they're in a bit of long grass and stuff, so we're going to have to move fast. But there's definitely, definitely four pigs, two look mature, and then it looks like there's two pigs that are like medium size, so okay. normally a boar and a sow, and two average ones, so we must just get there quickly while the wind's also good. Okay. Before they, it doesn't look like they're grazing, it looks like they're moving, so yeah, cool. we must just move fast. Yeah. Let's make a move. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. When we said shoot shoot there was I was like cringing <laughs> and when the shot went off I was ready for impact. Yeah, but the problem was he was, he was yeah. but I knew when he impacted. Yeah, we were shunting, huh? yeah, on no, the he angle. Was, he, was, he was shunting, yeah, he had a mission. I mean yeah, yeah. I don't know why where the, where the other ones were gonna yeah. eventually catch up with him, but he was yeah, he I think was they were also moving to the second hill but like I said, I got a good look at those other three, and um, well, that must be the there was two two small ones, and then all small, medium size, and then there was a big one, and the big one didn't look, but this one had a very wide face. That's awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, African pig slam, man. Yeah, yeah buddy. Congratulations, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not many guys do that in one day. Huh? That's so awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. Uh, super stoked. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a difficult call to make. We couldn't quite see, but the behaviour said that it was a ball. And uh, because it moved away from the sound, and we saw its head looked a bit wider, but it's it's difficult when they're on the move and there was distance. But I think we can see the right signs. We're gonna we're gonna be able to tell now. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> very very excited. Yeah, that's the right signs. Oh. Behind the front. Oh, hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a ball! Oh, well done, man. Congratulations. Yay, lovely nice pig, man. I can't do it better than that. So you can do it better than that. I can't 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 do it better than that. I that's also a sign of age, these cheeks here and that for the fighting, obviously, to protect himself. Oh, he's got some nice teeth as well. No, it's a beautiful piece. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Well done. Like <laughs> <laughs> Thames, Tyler, Hugo. Yes, what an evening, eh? Yeah, well, um, it wasn't over when we thought it was over. <laughs> yes, uh, falling asleep on the back of the vehicle there. Tyler and, and yourself were scouting all the fields with a with a thermal imaging uh, cameras. And um, lo and behold, uh, we, you saw this big... First, we saw a civet cat. I, 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 I want to be uh, quite honest. I mean, we saw it from like 500 meters. We saw a black bulb in the field. Yeah. Uh, did quite a cool stalk and... Um, yeah, ended up to be a civet cat. Quite cool to, to very, see. You don't cool. see them quite often. And, uh, very nice. and as we turn around, heading back to the vehicle, Tyler almost <laughs> hit the deck. He said, the oaks, was, the oaks was quiet down. Uh, there's some bush pig in the field. Ty, take it from there. Eh? Yeah, yeah. And then um, we started moving. We had to move quite fast because they weren't really digging. Mm. It's an old grass field. It's not really got anything in it to, yeah, to, to keep them here. It's so, rock hard. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> so we had to move and get in front of them because uh, we were catching them on the move. They were obviously they'd already eaten so yeah we had to move and keep the wind good and um, eventually the boar luckily the boar moved away from the from the sounder and gave a clear indication that it was a boar uh, just by his behavior mm. and then um, struggled to get him to get him located or for the shot um, and then yeah you I think shot. I think the big problem was the distance you could uh, talk us <laughs> talk Jesus. us through the shot <laughs> no that was it was probably one of the hardest shots I've ever had to take in my life it was 
with new equipment and you could literally see the ball walking as a shadow in yeah. the telescope and i yeah I've, I've, i felt good about the shot i lined it up on the front shoulder pulled the trigger and was fortunate enough to hear the, the doop no, i didn't the... want to be the guy taking that <laughs> shot that was excellent work man. Sure. excellent work but I'm, i think i think the biggest surprise of it all was um i mean you guys were 90 percent sure it was a ball and, yeah. and the shot went well congratulations yeah. on that but I mean, when we got here and all of us yeah. saw that, you know, the, the magnitude of this pig, yes, it's just, what a monster. It's a lovely pig. It's an ancient wow. pig, the, the detailing on the face, with the warts and his cheekbones. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can already see his bodies on the decline a bit, but mm -hmm. um, oh, it's just a gorgeous old boar, you know, a, a, just a, a great pig to take out of the croplands, oh, especially on foot at night with the, with the thermals and the night vision. You, can't get any better than that it's it, just so much fun man it's yeah. such a proper hunt it's such an it underrated is. hunt it's it's, it's yeah. fair chase <laughs> walking it's walk in pitch black <laughs> it's mind-blowingly yeah. awesome <laughs> yeah and to do it all together i mean that's the yeah, one thing you, you said it yeah, you said it earlier walking single file you know the guy yeah. with a the thermal camera walking in front obviously Dems, you you had the stick second in line and uh, you you were there yeah, i tried to have team the, operation the camera at the back <laughs> it was just too dark to try and film you know mm. uh, we we got got some of it on uh, on film mm. um we didn't get the impact shot that good but at least we we had the you know the shot go off 100%. but uh nevertheless you what a shot and um, um hopefully we can have a whiskey uh, just before the sun rises again. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a great night of hunting guys thank you so much for all the effort thank you uh, yeah, what a what a great night thanks amazing